Hi, my name is Janet McGillifray. I'm one of the art teachers at DGM. I co-teach with Lucy Armstrong. I have been involved in the creative process my whole life. I've always been an artist and a writer. I also spent a bit of time being an actress. And so for me, my passion is just the creative process, how things sort of show up so almost magically on a blank page or on a blank stage. And there's this sort of um, playful experience of finding out what will come through you or what will come out of you as you're creating. And so this is what I'm really excited about teaching the kids. A moment in time, really, which is what art is. You're capturing a moment. This is an illustration for an environmental fairy tale that I've written. This is being used as a template to teach the MMYP students scale, proportion, composition, and shadow. And the students won't be drawing dragons, they'll be drawing whatever it is that they're excited about. And they'll be doing uh, moonlit uh, landscapes. We're in the process of brainstorming uh, ideas. By December they will have completed their first long-term art project where they've planned a picture and put all those pieces together and executed a design that's unique to them. With Upper E, we're working on primitive art. They're studying early man and they're studying petroglyphs and sand paintings and things that are made from natural materials. They are also going to be doing an art fair this year and in the art fair they'll be studying classical artists using an inspiration from a classical artist to create their own art project and then to present that in a similar fashion to how a science fair would be presented, only it will be art instead of science. It's this union of technique and inspiration and the inspiration of the child is what actually creates something amazing and something different from what's ever been seen before. And what I found is that children are, are really good at that. They're, they're not afraid to try something original. They're not afraid to put an extra couple of legs on an animal that doesn't exist or to make a tree blue or <laughs> to do anything that's sort of out of the ordinary. And as we become adults, we try to re rekindle that childlike quality. My favorite thing has been teaching more advanced art skills. So I've been able to take some of the class material from ASU and apply it to kids here at DGM. And so it feels like the, the level of learning has grown and there's been a a quality of um, giving these kids advanced skills but at a level that they can they can handle really well. So I created a painting in art. Art is something that you can express yourself with. This is life, it's a baby in a cradle. This is a painting of the sunset. This is food, this is corn. And then this is a thunderstorm which is like rain, which is water. I like how every week you get to um, do art and you get to choose what you want to do and Miss Janet, she always has something ready for you and it's just really fun. Finally, I think that art just really pulls you into the moment. It's got a, a quality of meditation and a quality of um, seeing the world with new eyes and a quality of wonder. And um, so I'm excited to bring that to the art program this year and hopefully grow that over the years here at DGM.